Yo what's up guys, in today's video I have a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and rumors that just recently came out. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, leave a quick like, check out all my past videos if you guys missed them, but let's just jump right into it because I'm just excited to talk about all these topics. And the first topic that I want to talk about is definitely an interesting one. I'd say a month or two ago the Chicago Bulls and Lonzo Ball had a lot of interest in each other. And Lonzo Ball ever since the trade rumors came out he really stepped up his game and he's just been playing very well for the Pelicans. And some very, I'd say, pretty crazy news came out yesterday. I mean, I guess it's not that crazy. I should have known this was coming. But LeVar Ball was talking to the media. And he insisted that the Pelicans have to trade his son, Lonzo Ball. You know, LeVar has been pretty quiet for a while now. And then out of nowhere, he comes out and says this. And he pretty much said Lonzo hates living in New Orleans. He, he literally just hates the Pelicans. And LeVar said he can't stay in New Orleans. And he hopes he gets traded before the NBA trade deadline. And I know there's going to be some Bulls fans that hate to hear that, and I do too. You know, I hate when LeVar comes out and like talks for his sons because they're all very talented. But either way, I agree with this. I believe he doesn't fit that well in New Orleans, even though he has been playing pretty well. And he really stepped up his game ever since the trade rumors came out. You know, like I said a month ago, the Bulls were very interested. I'm sure we're very interested still. The Bulls definitely still need help with playmaking and defense, especially since the Bulls just benched Kobe White not too long ago. You know, not only would Lonzo help with the playmaking, he would be a very solid defender in this lineup, and he's a very good three-point shooter nowadays. He's a pretty solid scorer for the most part. He's a bigger guard. He is 6'6", so he could definitely get the job done at the point guard or even the two position if we really need him to, but I feel like he would fit definitely way better at the one and help Zach Levine and I'd say Lori Markkinen get easier baskets, and I feel like the offense would just flow much better. I mean, if you guys have watched the past few Bulls games, the Bulls offense has, has just been completely different with Sato starting I'd say Lonzo Ball is an even better playmaker and he's only 23 years old especially with him I mean it just seems like New Orleans want to trade him because he's more than likely going to leave this offseason I saw the Clippers were interested the Bulls are I'm sure I also saw Lonzo might want to sign with the Knicks this offseason so if the Bulls want to have a chance at him I say we trade for him now and I just feel like he'll fit with our team a lot better than I'd say the Pelicans or Knicks or even Clippers I feel like Clippers just don't have the ass sets to get him I mean the Knicks have been playing better but I just feel like Lonzo would love to play in a big city like Chicago and I'm sure LeVar would like that as well so that brings me into the, my second topic and the only way we get Lonzo Ball I see is with a Laurie Markton for Lonzo Ball switch like I'd say swap maybe the Bulls would have to throw in a few like maybe a future rounder like a future first or second rounder I'm not sure but some big news did come out today and according to ESPN, the Chicago Bulls have drawn interest in, of course, our veteran Thaddeus Young. But the Bulls, just like the Kings, are on a playoff bubble and they aren't expected to be sellers at the NBA trade deadline, even though we are under 500. And he said the Bulls are shopping Laurie Marketing, and he said they might be willing to make a deal and trade Laurie Marketing at the trade deadline. It's looking like Thaddeus Young is staying in Chicago. That's good news. He's really helped out the Bulls this season, the Bulls offense, defense, just being a good veteran, and he's on a pretty solid contract, so I'm happy that he is more than likely staying, unless the Bulls get, like, I'd say a crazy trade offer. I don't see Thaddeus Young getting traded. But like I said, that brings me into my second topic in today's video. I believe the Bulls should flip Laurie Markkinen for Lonzo Ball, especially because there's what there's some rumors about the Bulls more than likely like trading Laurie instead of Thaddeus. And I also feel like Laurie Markkinen has a lot more problems to the Bulls than he does like solutions. Of course, he's a very solid shooter. But other than that, what does he de like do really well on the court? You know, he spaces the floor. He's a pretty knockdown shooter, I'd say, for the most part. He's not really good in the paint. He's not the best, like, post player. He's not a good rebounder. I saw he's averaging a career low in rebounds, only putting up, like, six rebounds a game. And if Laurie Markkinen is just going to, like, walk this offseason or another team's going to overpay him or give him, like, a max contract and say the Bulls don't want to give him that, I'd rather trade him at the trade deadline and get at least Lonzo and, or maybe a different player in future picks for him. I could see the Bulls trading Laurie Markkinen, and same with ESPN. They expect the Bulls to possibly trade him. I mean, they've been shopping him as of recently. But some other news did come out today, and Laurie Markkinen did say he's confident that he's going to be a Chicago Bull past the, like, the Bulls trade deadline. But of course, any NBA like player and organization is going to say that. 
And yesterday, the media asked Lori Markkinen if he thinks he'll be a Chicago Bull past the trade deadline. You know, he said he's not even going to talk about that, really. He's not making any predictions on that. He said he's going day by day and controlling what he can control. And he also said he's 100% committed to the team, and that's how it still is. I mean, Artoris and him tried coming to an extension before the season started. Artoris even said we like Lawyer a lot, and he also said we would like him to be part of this organization for a long time. I'm fine if the Bulls re-sign him or trade him. You know, Lawyer's just kind of in the middle, I'd say, if we should keep him or trade him. If he improves on his defense and post-game and ups his rebounds, I'd say keep him. I mean, I remember before the season started, the Bulls and marketing were about $4 million, like, sh I'd say like apart on their extension so i'm not sure the exact number number how much he's asking for but i wouldn't mind keeping marketing and re-signing him for the right price but if he's not like say a, a bad team like the knicks i saw are interested in him are gonna give him like a max deal this like this offseason overpay him i'd rather see the bulls trade him now and get something for him rather than him just walk for nothing this offseason coming up Definitely leave some comments and questions about the Bulls possibly trading Lori Markin, possibly trading for Lonzo Ball. And this next topic in today's video is definitely an interesting one. And I saw some of you guys and some other Bulls fans suggesting that the Chicago Bulls should trade for Spencer Dinwiddie. And I am completely for that. I know he's going to be out for this season. He just tore his ACL. And I saw that the Brooklyn Nets are shopping him. I saw that like the Heat are interested and a bunch of other teams are as well. And he does have a player option for next season. He's only making or $12 million for next season if he accepts that. I could see him declining that, so that's the only risk. I feel like he could definitely get paid, even though he is coming off, an, I'd say, an ACL tear. This offseason coming up is supposed to be really weak. But I saw the Brooklyn Nets want a role player and a second-round pick for Spencer Dinwiddie. And I wouldn't mind to tossing on maybe Sado in a second. I doubt they would take that. Maybe, I mean, Thaddeus in a second. That's definitely interesting, but I would, I would want the Bulls to get more. I've seen a lot of you guys suggest this, and the Bulls need to add help. There's been a lot of rumors about them expecting to be buyers at this end. NBA trade deadline so I just threw this out there this was a name I want to see if you guys would possibly trade for Spencer I mean he was a bull a few years back we should have kept him so we wouldn't have to do this but he has been a star for Brooklyn he's been putting up great numbers of course before his terrible ACL injury I hope he comes back and is fine after that but definitely leave a like on today's video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also leave any comments and questions below today's video about any of the trade rumors and topics that I talked about in today's video. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel recently. Have a good one.